Hello, welcome back. Let's see, Tales of the Abyss. I ignore that bit in the beginning. It's whatever. Welcome back. So let's play Tales of the Abyss. Oh, we're back with Luke. I guess the channel's closed. We're back with Lukey. He didn't say thing. That's weird. <laughs> you better get out there. Just here. She really didn't leave. She's oh yeah, Saint Bina's in danger. We better hurry. Selenias, the only flowers that grow in the cliff off. They bloom at night. The outer lands cover the sky, so hardly any sunlight gets through. Anyway, you look like you were worried about something. Oh, right. I want to go back to the outer lands. You'll be able to go back at some point, but for right now... No, I have to go back now. Ash said St. Bina's gonna fall. Oh no. But you've been asleep this whole time. I could hear. He and I are connected. Even if that's true, how do you plan to prevent St. Bina from falling? Oh, well... You don't understand a thing. You base all your actions on what others say and never try to understand things for yourself. That's no different than how you acted at Xeri Youth. <sighs> You're right. Master Van said so. Ash said so. That's all I ever said. Incident. It's no wonder everyone got sick of me and left me behind. You knew that they went back to the Outer Lands? I told you, Ash and I are connected. I saw it through him. I really am his replica. Luke. Up till now, all I ever paid attention to was myself. And I'm not even sure I saw myself clearly. Yeah. I want to change. I have to change. If you really mean that, then perhaps you can. But even if you change, that won't bring back Xeriuth. 
and it won't erase the fact that thousands died. With the weight of all that on your shoulders, how do you plan to change? I don't know. <laughs> That's all I know how to say. I'm pathetic. If I could make up for Xeriath by apologizing, I'd apologize as much as it took. If my dying could bring back Xeriath, then I'd be scared. But I'd die. But that's not how things are. Even if I tried to make up for it, I'd never be able to. So I'm gonna start with what I can do. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm serious. I want to change. I still don't think you really understand. Not while you can talk about dying so easily. Oh. What are you gonna do, Luke? I won't ask you to trust me right away. Tear, you carry knives on you, right? Oh. That's probably one of the best cutscenes. One of the best cutscenes in RPGs. Let me borrow one for a minute. I love this cutscene coming up. It's definitely my top cutscenes of all time in games coming up. just so wholesome to me. It's very simple, but very sweet. Tear, I want you to watch me from here on out, and then make up your mind. Oh, he's styling his hair. I may not do a good <laughs> job right away. I may make mistakes, but I'm going to change. Well, what you do that, buddy? All right. <laughs> I'll be watching you. Please. I will, but don't ever take it for granted. I can give up on you at any time. Weird, there was wind here. <laughs> I feel so sorry for the gardener. Anyway, right now, if being that poor gardener. <laughs> we have to find a way to stop it. That poor gardener. Come here, we're like, where did all this red hair come from, dear? What? But what should we do? What were you doing? What were you doing, dear? Let's ask the mayor, my grandfather. He should be in the meeting room. All right, Lukey, let's go. Okay, let's go. Classic, classic symbol of change. Cutting the hair. Man. <laughs> All right. I have no idea how to keep St. Bean up from falling, but we've got to get there somehow. 
Yes, even if we can't prevent this, its destruction, we can at least evacuate everyone. Let's ask Grandfather about it. Tear. What? Um, I don't know much about anything, so I may not understand what the mayor says, and... Well, I may need you to explain a lot of things to me, but I'm gonna make my own decisions. Good. But don't ever, don't use lack of knowledge for an excuse. Uh, yeah, sorry. I think that's a fine voice for haircut, Luke. <laughs> There's no need to rush things. Just start by doing what you can, all right? Yeah, and the first thing I could do is talk to the mayor. Yep. Right, let's go. Luke looks adorable. Honestly, the portrait, his hair short. Look at him, he looks adorable. I was checking to see if I had rice, but I forgot rice for the side quest. Freaking idiot. The same one that won the apple gel smash. Uh, so, I'll have to get rice off screen and come back before the cutoff. Man, that sucks. Good golly. This place looks a lot different from anything I've seen in the Outer Lands. You mean, because of the miasma? Well, that's too, but these buildings, they look different and strange. Material, they... Oh, true, only a city is a rather unique compared to the towns in the other lands. No one here knows how it was felt. What do you mean? This city has been around since before the Outer Lands were raised, since the Dawn Age. It's protected from the miasma by what was cutting edge technology even for the time. But since then, we've lost most. That knowledge. Huh. So we don't know how these buildings were built? No. We don't. We can make single repairs, but expanding or rebuilding is beyond our capabilities. Comprehension. Yeah. Wow. Oh. It's when this city decides to fail, it's game over for everyone. Wonderful. Mm. Save money for one it. Get a deck brush. I forgot to get that earlier. It's a weapon for Jade. I forgot to get it earlier. <laughs> when we get Jade back in our party, which we will, I'll give it to her. Spoilers. What's this? Ah, oh, this is the roster. It contains a list of everyone living in Aldrich. Oh, but it's missing some data. Say, Luke, I'm sorry to bother you with this, but could you help fill in the roster? Sure, but what do I do? A 
Every time you meet someone significant, just write down their information with this item. Yes, character disc. If you do that next time, we open this book, information about the new people will automatically be added. It's not our most important priority, so just do it when you think of it. I'll go ahead and enter our own information right now. But I'm a replica. But you're still a resident of this world. Yeah. Oh, Luke. Hey, you look in here. He's just a little model viewer, basically. You can just look at the character models, so that's it. Of all the characters and monsters in the game. Get you magical in, so it's just me. This is Van's room, by the way. Alright. Hey, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> what did you think we'd never get Luke back? Oh, you missed him, did you? You missed him. <laughs> Of course, we're gonna get a look back. I mean, come on now. I love that scene of him swearing change. If everything's happened. Luke is my favorite protagonist in the Tell series, honestly. He's my favorite. I also think he's the best written. I mean, he starts out as a physically asshole. About the third phonic hymn. Oh, so he's recovered? Layla. Yes, he has. So has the third hymn symbol been discovered? Here, get off the booze. What's the third hymn? One of those phonic hymns you use? Pretty much. So he doesn't know about them. No, Lukey doesn't. Lukey does not. The phonic hymns I use are Yulia's hymns. There are seven altogether. Oh, so the third of those seven? Wait, you always just use two of them. I don't understand the symbolism of the others. Yulia's hymns are useless with only the melody. You need to understand a lot. If you don't understand the meaning and wisdom in the hymns, they're just songs. Very special. Oh, that's right. The symbol of the third hymn. There was a hidden page in a book Van left behind. As I say slowly. It 
might be written there. When you have a chance, stop by my place and take a look. Which you're gonna do right away, after this cutscene. Because we're gonna want what she has there. Phonic hymns sound pretty tough. Oh yeah. Yes, the symbols are very difficult. I know all but the third and the fifth. But so far, I only understand the first and second. Oh. So if you don't know and understand the symbols, they really are just ordinary songs. Actually, all seven of Yulia's hymns sung consecutively form another phonic hymn. Another? It's called the Grand Phonic Hymn, and it works even if you don't understand its symbolism. Sounds important. The hymn itself is the symbol of the covenant. Shadow Hearts? No. The whole Covenant with Lorelei, Grand Phonic Hymn? What power does that have? It said that the Grand Phonic Hymn and the Key of Lorelei together can summon Lorelei. Ooh, that sounds busted. I wonder if we'll be able to use those things in the future. That sounds amazing. Yes, but the Key of Lorelei has been lost, and I don't know the seventh hymn. Mm hmm. So it may not mean much in the end. Cheer up. Oh. I don't know about the Grand Phonic Hymn, but your first and second hymns have really helped. Yeah, they yeah. have. That's good enough. Oh, Luke. Luke's being a good boy. See you, Luke. He had an all time to be a good boy. Yo, let's go do this now. This little side quest. The other will sadly have to wait, the race one. I've been waiting for you. What's the book Van left behind? It's just an ordinary book on phonic arts, but there was a hidden page at the end. Hidden page? Here's a copy of it. I don't know what it means, but I thought you might... This is Ba Lay Zwe Tue Mother The Magnificent Angel's Voice. Sounds a little familiar. What's going on? Quiet. Tear is meditating. It looks like that really was the symbol of the hymn. Now I understand. You might remember it. This is the third hymn. Holy song. You might recognize it from some of you. Colette had it. it was? It's pretty similar to Colette's. Yes. It's useful. Congratulations, Tear. 
Thank you. Do you mind if I keep this copy? Sure. There's Let information keep it. here about the symbolism and the other hymns as well. Though I don't yet know enough to understand them. Be my guest. I'm sure it'll come in useful eventually as you grow stronger. Oh, it will. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, there's going to be special skills and spells and attacks and get for the characters throughout the game. I'm going to get as much as I can. And they're fun. They give a little bit of character. That fun stuff. Who doesn't like some characters and world building? What? You don't? Huh? Well, too damn bad. Ah, you're the Luke replica. I see. You really do look the same. Oh. Grandfather! Oh, I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize to us for Exeriuth, however. What do you mean? The fall of Axeriuth is written in Yulia's score. It occurred because it was meant to. Which means it's okay? What do you say? Wow. I've never heard that. That makes it the same as Hod. It's part of the closed score. Only those of maestro rank or higher know of it. If you knew about it through the score, why didn't you try to stop it? Luke, I'm surprised to hear someone from the Outer Lands say such a thing. Why not? A calm, orderly life in accordance with the score is the way of the Order of Lorelei. Well, yeah, but... Why are people read the score on their birthday each year? To learn of the next year and accept the possibilities it holds. Then why didn't you inform the world about Exerius' destruction? Yeah, if you'd let everyone know, people wouldn't have had to die. That's the problem. When faced with a score of death, people become unable to live peacefully. Of course, sir. Nobody wants to die. So you really just let people die for this? Yulia read prosperity wow. for Aldrin's in the score. If we don't move history down that path, we'll lose the prosperity we are promised. We are the watchers who guide the Outer Lands to prosperity, based on Yulia's score. The Order of Lorelei is a tool for that purpose. And that's where wow. Maestro Mose held Phone Master Ion and tried to cause a war? Master Van knew about the score when he took me to Axarium? That's correct. You told me wow. neither Malkuth nor Kim Laska listened when you warned them about Hod. Was that a lie? I'm sorry. You were young. I didn't want to tell you the truth, but that is wow. the truth. Then my brother is planning to take revenge on the world. He said that a world shackled to the score is better off destroyed. Jeez. Tear, you're mistaken in thinking that Van is trying to destroy the world.
It's true that there was a time when Van hated the score after what happened to Hard. But now, he's doing an admirable job as an observer. Admirable? Letting everyone in Axarius die was admirable? You're crazy. There's something wrong with all of you. I agree with Luke. Not at all. At the end of the sixth phone stone, Yulia's score reads thus. The land of Rugnica will be enveloped in war, and Malkuth shall lose territory. So we stand by and do nothing. Kimlaska Landveldir shall thrive, and this shall lead to unprecedented prosperity. We have watched all this time in order to bring that unprecedented prosperity to the Outer Lands. Wow. But Grandfather, Van is trying to cause St. Bina to fall. The battle will take place around it. St. Bina will not fall. You sure? It is not written in the score. Don't like this guy very much. He kind of sucks, to be honest. Mayor Teodoro, it's time for the council meeting. We're not gonna get anywhere. I'll be right there. If you two are that worried, take the Yulia road to the Outer Lands. See for yourself that your concern is groundless. Sheesh. Let's go back to the Outer Lands. We aren't going to accomplish yeah. anything here. Right. But before we go, there's something I want to get from my room, okay? Sh sure. Sheesh. One thing after another, you know? Where's your room again? It's the room you were sleeping in. The second floor on the house. Next door. My room. Oh. Then, the whole time, I was sleeping in Tear's bed. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, sir, is something wrong? You have any perverted thoughts? No. Let's go. Yes, Luke, you're in her bed, okay. Let's go. Good grief. Oh man. Yeah, the game really, really starts to get interesting and pick up around here, honestly. Don't get me wrong, first hour was cool and all. But we're finally seeing a different side of Luke after what happened. Unfortunately, a lot of people had to die. I just wonder what it'll look be at the end of the game. 
If you're wondering, we are in Act 2. No. Yeah, we're in Act 2. I believe, huh? Of course, Act 2 starts with our girl. And Luke again. On the road. Oh, Act 3, B. Mm, probably you suck, right? Because the Tells games all have bad story. The only thing you look forward to is the characters in the Tells games. Right? Ben no. hated this score. He was always talking about it here in this room. Stand about where you are now and say he could never forgive a world that let Ha die. Why does he care so much about Ha? The Isle of Hod was Malkuth land, destroyed in the Hod War 16 years ago. It was our home. into the cliff off, just like Xera Youth. Outside material gets really dark with that. Just so you know. Van and my mother, who was pregnant with me, fell into the cliff off. Van probably used a phonic hymn. Something happened before I went to the Outer Lands. Van returned to this city, something he didn't do very often. Ash seems to suspect something. Ash is still a bit dainty. He'll cause trouble if he learns that the people of the Outer Lands will be annihilated. Can I talk to you in your car here? Shall this is a nice place. He's tabs on him? Yes. Oh dear. I thought my brother was planning something terrible. At least that many people were going to die. I couldn't allow that to happen, even if Hod had been left to die because of the score. Or I'd stop in, even if it meant killing both of us. Here. But it looks like I failed. I couldn't save Xeri Youth. Yeah, man, that everyone fooled. That's because I. Luke. I can't limb it all on you. I took an assignment in the Outer Lands in order to stop Van. First time you've ever thanked me for anything. Really? I'm so happy you two are growing up. 
Oh. That's cute. It's not like that. <laughs> what did you come here to get? A book on phonology. I thought you would need it. Why? A hyper resonance is caused by seven phonons. I think this will help you learn to control them. Oh. Thanks. The you will be to the right of the meeting room. Maybe a hot take. Maybe a hot take, not sure. But I think Tyr and Luke are the best ship in the series. Yes, they are the end game in this game. Tyr is indeed the love interest. I'm kind of quiet about that, but yeah, Tears to Love Interest of this game. <laughs> and Luke, obviously, well, <laughs> her and Luke are, well, yeah. And I think they're actually cuter than she on an elephant. There, I said it. They're cuter than she on an elephant. <laughs> and they don't irritate me. <laughs> I'm fine with Tear and Luke. We're fine. Yeah, now I've made it clear that I don't really ship much in games anymore. Not really. When I was younger I used to ship characters a lot in games. I'd be like, oh so cute. Oh my goodness. These two are so lovely together. When I was younger but as you've gotten older I've just stopped really shipping characters. Tyr and Luke, though, are two of the few left that I still ship. These two are one of the few left that I'll ship. Everyone else, I'm just, mm, no thank you. For the most part, it's really captivating for me to be interested anymore. Very mysterious, you'll get today, you know. It's a pretty place. Very strange, pretty place. This path connects to the Aramis Spring on the Padamian continent. You might recognize this place from the intro. That place is crawling with monsters. With tear. Are you ready? Yeah. Can't believe I forgot the rice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, let's go. It'll be all right, Mew. Here we go. I hope our friends are doing well. <laughs> and not getting themselves hurt. Or just some chaos out there. Knowing that group. Although we know Guy left Ash's party. Maybe we'll meet up with Guy. It's possible. It's not all hopes lost. Good 
Here we are. I don't know if it's Aramis, but I said Artemis for you. I do wish they went out one. No one. Whoa! It dumped us out into the water. Oh yeah. It's all right. You won't get wet. Oh, <laughs> look. Look at water, I swear. How come? Apparently, the force from the Sephiroth spout pushes the water aside. Those Sephiroth kind of nifty. sure are strong if they can lift the whole land into the sky. And I just oh, yeah. Luke. Standing around depressed isn't going to help anything. You're right. I came back here to do what I can. Man, I'm hopeless. Ah, oh. uh, you're our hopeless uh, glue. Uh, the dream team back together again. I think we'll just go tear back. She's the best healer in the game. Bar none. You could probably get the game without using tear at all. I'm pretty sure you can. It's just. It's so much easier. Here. Hmm. They're weird, Luke. I'm calling you thing. That's gonna be odd to get used to. Although sadly, I have to play Vesperia, meeting Patty when I first played Defendant Edition, because it's the same actor. I really began to lose my love for Mia, because Patty is so annoying, and now look at here, it's Patty from Vesperia. Uh, every time Mia opens its mouth, <laughs> so now I can record you with thing. Well, we will be getting another new thing eventually. It's about time you showed up, Luke. Hey, see, guys, here. About time you showed up, guy. Huh? What is it? I... I'm not Luke. Jeez, I don't need you talking oh. like Ash, too. But 
I'm a replica. So, that guy oh. doesn't like to be called Luke anyway. I say take it. Yeah. Take it? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. You sure have, though. You don't have to put yourself down so much. I'm not. It's just... Sure you are. Who cares about names at this point? You can <laughs> at least look happy to see good friend. Me. After I went to the trouble of waiting here for you. You're right. Thanks. Oh. You said thanks? <laughs> Looks like you never do. <laughs> yep. But next time we're continuing on Luke's adventure. <laughs> That's a new man. See you around, loves. Try not to do anything dumb. Like get yourself killed. Ha ha ha. Don't die on me.